When will car prices drop? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal, to discuss the evasive good deal that all of you are looking for. And we do greatly appreciate you turning to us for a well-researched and well-thought-out answer. We've mentioned this before, but some quick background first. Between 2021 and 2022, car prices reached an all-time high because of factors related to the COVID-19 pandemic. As we've covered recently, some of these shortages don't look to be an accident at all, with things like the appearance of coordinated factory fires at numerous semiconductor manufacturing plants all around the world. Events like that only seem to prolong the agony, but a rapidly souring economy right here in the U.S. is changing all of that. Fortunately, car prices are finally beginning to drop. Used car prices dropped from August 2021 to August 2022, but no, it was not a decent amount of droppage. This begs the real question, when will prices drop to where it makes sense to actively begin car shopping again? Money expert Clark Howard says the conditions will continue to improve gradually each month, and we agree with his assessment. The good news, if there actually is good news, is the value of used cars that had gone up 70% is now up only 40% from where it was three years ago. The price of used cars is on a downward tick. On a downward tick, but the numbers say we have a ways to go. We will continue to take a closer look at the current new and used car markets as well as indicators about when car prices will go down. And we conclude that used car prices will continue to tick down a little more each month. But the big question everyone wants an answer to, when will the difference be big enough that we would recommend you resume active car shopping efforts? While a lot of movement is happening in the car markets right now, the major correction you're all waiting for hasn't happened yet. The day for the great deal is not now. No matter how many ridiculous flyers you get in the mail, like the one Kevin has here, a good deal doesn't really exist yet. As seen on TV. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Black Friday all month long. 20 vehicles under 20,000 bucks. And another ridiculous voucher for $2,000, like as if anyone is going to get that. <laughs> this month, auto wholesaler Mannheim released new data revealing the used vehicle value index through September 2022. In the graph, you can see prices continuing to drop significantly. However, we still have a long way to go before the vehicle market completely stabilizes. Fortunately, prices are finally heading in the right direction. In the past, Clark Howard has predicted that the market would gradually improve in late 2022, and now we're finally starting to see some lower prices, indeed somewhere in the 15% range. While this decline will continue gradually month to month, it's likely to be sometime in the end of quarter two and the beginning of quarter three of 2023 before we see the used vehicle market return to near pre-pandemic prices. For now, if you have a used car to sell and you're not needing it, we recommend you sell it sooner rather than later to get the best price. But if you're looking to buy a used car, hold off for as long as you can into 2023, at least into midsummer. But if you can wait a full year, you'll be even more likely to get a good deal or at least a fair price. Many experts agree, as do we, the whole car market is going to come gradually, steadily back into equilibrium. And that's why, unless you've got to get a new vehicle now, don't. Don't, don't buy a car right now unless you're dead in the water without transportation or you're dealing with a vehicle that possibly can't make it another 90 days. Right, because even waiting 90 days will make a difference. Yes, it will. One of the biggest indicators to watch right now is the whistling pot that's ready to boil over in the used car market known as Carvana. And when that blows, a tidal wave of price drops will hit the car market. Carvana performed incredibly well during the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic. True. The company enjoyed a surge of activity on its online car dealership platform, sending revenue up 65% and 129% in 2020 and 2021 respectively. But the party is most definitely over. Yeah, and they're going to cry if they want to. Not to beat a dead horse, but Carvana's third quarter revenue fell 3% year over year to $3.4 billion amid an 8% drop in cars sold to $102,570. For a mature company, a slight decline in quarterly sales wouldn't necessarily be a big deal. But for a growth company like Carvana, the slowdown could spell disaster because its business model hasn't achieved the scale it needs for consistent profitability. The company's net loss spiraled from $68 million to $508 million in the period, a jump of almost 650%. Ouch. And yes, with just $316 million in cash compared to the $6.6 .6 billion in long-term debt, ah. there's no easy way out of this. The math just doesn't add up. 
Management could try kicking the can down the road by raising additional debt to refinance its existing loans, but this move would increase bankruptcy risk and further crush profit margins through interest expenses, which already total $153 million per quarter. Now, the last time we covered Carvana, we had people asking if we thought that they should buy Carvana stock. No. With a price-to-sales ratio of just 0.05, Carvana stock is incredibly cheap compared to the S&P 500 average of 2.4. That means investors who believe the company can stave off bankruptcy long enough for the macroeconomic conditions to improve could make a healthy return by betting on the company. That said, buying Carvana is a huge risk. With spiraling debt and losses, the stock has a real possibility of getting to zero. So no, don't even think about buying Carvana stock. So bottom line, keep an eye on Carvana. Also, the advancing recession and people losing their jobs would certainly force a rapid change in car prices, and some of you are more prepared than others for that to happen. If 2008 was any example to go by, people will rapidly dump their gas guzzlers and their second vehicles just to come up with cash to pay the mortgage. On the new car supply end of things, automaker by automaker, they've adapted. They're building vehicles, they're sending them to dealers. Where a short time ago dealers had no new cars on their lots, there's still low inventory compared to normal numbers, but the new vehicle thing is gradually improving everywhere. We are going to wrap up with a few basic tips on the current market, so be ready to take a few notes or stop by to watch this video again later. Number one, shop in a wider area than you normally would. A lot of people buying new vehicles are now traveling hundreds, sometimes even thousands of miles to buy one because different dealers are handling the shortage and pricing of new vehicles differently. With relatively cheap one-way airfares available now, you can buy a car from a dealer hundreds of miles away and fly out to get the vehicle. If you're looking for a specific car, we recommend looking up all the dealers that sell the car within a 500 mile radius and then visiting their websites to see what inventory is coming in. Then you can email different dealers to find one that isn't marking up prices over MSRP. Many followed this method over the last couple of years and saved thousands of dollars on a vehicle by buying it from a dealership some distance away from home. Number two, don't pay more for a used car than you would for a new car. Our typical advice about buying a one or two year old vehicle doesn't really hold right now. You may actually be able to find a new vehicle for less than you can for a used one. Bonus, then there's no vehicle history to worry about. <laughs> Number three, be patient. Take your time. You may need to order a car and wait for it to come in. Last year, several people waited several weeks, even months for an ordered vehicle, which wasn't really out of line with the current market conditions at the time. If you ordered exactly what you want from a dealer who isn't marking prices up over MSRP, you'll get the vehicle you want without all the added on stuff. And you can save a substantial amount of money by being patient and waiting. Along the same lines, avoid buying a car that costs more than what you've budgeted for with features that you don't really need simply because it may be available the same day. Number four, when it is time to buy, shop online and consider joining a credit union. We've always advised that when you go down to buy, get your own financing and buy your vehicle online, not at the dealership because getting your financing through a dealer will cost you thousands more. You'll find much cheaper financing on a new or used vehicle at a credit union than what you're going to get from a bank or a car dealer right now. And number five, don't buy right now if you can avoid it. Just don't. If you have to have a new vehicle as soon as possible, follow the tips that we just gave you. However, we recommend holding off a bit longer, if at all possible, on buying a new or used car until the prices drop. This is the time to take your time and wait for the market to settle down. If you don't have to have a new or new to you used vehicle right now, don't buy one. Sit it out. Summer of 2023 is not that far away. Now that you have a few more tips to add to your car shopping manual you're carrying around with you guys, you're ready to stay on top of upcoming developments and triggers that indicate what we're telling you is happening faster than midsummer next year. In the meantime, all of you used car owners should be chomping in the bit for any way to keep your vehicle running its best so it lasts longer. Well, which that's exactly what the XCAP from MPG Extreme can do for you. It not only is a great catalyst for restoring like new fuel economy, but it does improve the performance of your vehicle. Very much. It keeps it running in tip top shape. And now it's easier to buy than ever with a brand new website. Visit the link you see appearing on the screen, mpgextreme.com slash the homework guy and hit the shop button. Scroll down and you'll see 10 X caps or two five packs for $29.95 plus shipping, 30 caps, which is six five packs for $59.95 plus shipping, 
or the best bargain per X cap is the third preferred customer option of 50 X caps or 10 of those five packs for $99.95 plus shipping. That's the one I recommend. If you have questions about the X cap and how it can restore the original fuel economy of your vehicle or fleet of vehicles to like new condition, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text to 701-441-3399. We have a huge customer database, so we know what results you should expect how to conduct a proper test, and we promised you a straight up honest answer. And yes, Kevin does often answer phone calls or call people back who are trying to reach us on the MPG line. At a minimum, we're gonna shoot you a text. And if you'd like to send a little cheer our way for the hard work we've put in on your behalf over all the years, the links for PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo appearing on the screen now will be in that description box down below. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome all of you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back. And to all of our faithful followers out there, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we saved the day. But now, we, we gotta, gotta go. go.